Welcome to Philadelphia. I'm Ruth Ochia, Associate Professor at Temple University and one of the co-chairs for our 2019 BMES National Meeting. Here I am in front of Independence Hall, one of the many sites that you can come and see if you come down to the meeting. The meeting this year is October 16th through 19th. Registration is open right now and if you want to save some Ben Franklins, make sure you register by September 4th. Once again, welcome to Philadelphia and come on down to BMES. Welcome to the Pennsylvania Convention Center. I'm Elisa Klein from the University of Maryland, and I'm excited to be one of the co-chairs of this year's meeting. Most of the meeting will take place here at the Convention Center. We received a record number of abstracts this year, which means there will be outstanding talks in a wide variety of biomedical engineering topics. There will also be great keynote lectures, including the Pritzker Lecture from Christopher Chen, the NIBIB Lecture by Rebecca richards Cordum, and the Diversity Lecture by Steve Abramowitz. The University of Pennsylvania's Bruce Levine will also present the Wallace H. Coulter Healthcare Innovation Lecture in which he will talk about his research on cancer immunotherapy. We will also have a full slate of educational and career sessions to help you achieve all of your career goals. Finally, we will be accepting REU undergraduate abstracts from July 15th to 31st. Just go to bmes.org to submit your REU abstracts. We look forward to welcoming you to Philadelphia in October. So welcome to the Franklin Institute. I'm Jason Burdick. I'm a professor in the Department of Bioengineering at the University of Pennsylvania. And along with Alyssa and Ruth, who you just heard from, I'm one of the meeting chairs for the annual BMES meeting. And so we're very excited to have the Friday Night Dessert Bash here at the Franklin Institute. And we think it's going to be a real highlight for all of the BMES attendees uh, this year. So the Franklin Institute was founded in 1824, really in honor of Benjamin Franklin, who you'll see behind me, uh, really a true American scientist and someone you'll hear a lot about if you visit Philadelphia. So today, the Franklin Institute is Philly's most visited museum. You can see there's a lot of activity behind us. Uh, both residents as well as visitors to the city of Philadelphia really enjoy all the activities that the museum has to offer. And it's really a center for scientific outreach and scientific education here in the community. So for more information and to register, uh, please visit bmes.org. And I look forward to seeing all of you in Philadelphia in October.